When the emergence of the COVID-19 Omicron variant led to an almost immediate imposition of travel bans to countries in Southern Africa, Africans reacted angrily. Africa is not new to being left behind, singled out, or just being ignored in times of global shared crises. We just need to look back to December of 2020 to be reminded how this sometimes happens. At the time, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned that vaccine nationalism was moving at full speed. He was of course referring to the hoarding and delays with intellectual property waivers of the vaccines from wealthier countries. 12 months later, that's today, the results are in full display. A recent report from Doctors Without Borders estimates there are 500 million excess doses in the United States, even if every eligible American got a booster dose. The same report goes on to say that 241 million doses could be wasted by G7 and EU countries alone in 2021. Now, of course, these countries can do with their doses what they want, but when you consider that only 76,000 people have been fully vaccinated in Chad, or just 1,000 in Burundi, then the question of moral responsibility really comes into play. These vaccine iniquities reflect long-standing social, economic and political inequalities between wealthy and poorer nations. These inequalities manifest in our empathy response as well. In March of 2016, the LA Times published a piece headlined, Why You Probably Didn't Hear Everyone Talking About These Major Terror Attacks. The piece went on to describe how attacks in African and Middle Eastern countries had gone unnoticed that week, as Belgium and France were also reeling back from violent and deadly attacks on home soil. Now, the world watched as social media giants pushed hashtags and special colored profile pictures in support of the European countries. The world also watched as monuments all over the world were covered in digital French and Belgian flags. And unfortunately, that's where the empathy seemed to run out. There were no flags, no hashtags, or more prayers to go around. It is impossible to care for everyone's problems everywhere all the time. But when did it become so easy to not care about most of the problems coming from one part of the world so often?